Ladies and gentlemen, come gather around, come gather around, come gather around. Today, we're going to look at one of the seven wonders of the universe, paintless dent repair. Unfortunately, all we have is some dentless paint, but we can change that. Let's go! No, I wasn't going to hit the truck. I might be a masochist, but I'm not that bad. This panel, unfortunately, is suffering from some vehicular composting. So we're going to use this and learn from it. Here we are. Oh, that felt good. So, Vivor sent me this kit to give it a give you guys a review of it, and I'm intrigued because I have zero experience with paintless dent repair. Well, technically, I have zero successful experience with paintless dent repair, but in the kit. We've got all these fancy tools. I'll talk a little bit about them later on. I'm just going through it and trying to figure out what I have, what works and what doesn't. And what I neglected to do is follow advice that I've been told time and time again. When you're pulling a dent, you want to take the, the first part that goes into the panel needs to be the last part that comes out of it. And I always seem to forget that. I always go to like the deepest part of the dent and I try to pull that out. And what you want to do is start from the outsides, the last stuff that went in, and start pulling that stuff out, if that makes sense. Uh, much smarter way to do it. I struggle to remember that. But here I am trying my best to show you how it can be done while I'm learning this. And I'm not McLoving it. So you can watch my disappointment, which is why this is a voiceover, because I've had a couple weeks to sit back and reflect and um, take a couple time moats to until I can word my enthusiasm for painless dent repair. I probably should have just put one dent in the panel. That would have been nice. But I had some existential angst that I needed to get rid of, and the panel was there. And I had a hammer. Really, it was meant to be. So the slide hammer is kind of useful. It, the kit came with some what looks like ordinary hot glue, and the kit came with some black sort of hot glue. Not sure what the difference was. I was a little bit happier with the black stuff than the regular hot glue. Not sure it really matters. At this point, I'm trying the little dent set kind of thing to try and coax it into happiness, but it wasn't working all that well for me either. Fun to play with new toys and to see how it works and try to read the panel and try to figure out how to make stuff get out. Then again, not really all that fun. This is a pretty terminally rusty tailgate. My son and I picked up a better tailgate at the junkyard. Turns out there's quite a few PT cruisers in the junkyard. Can't imagine why, although I can. And... Uh, so I had this tailgate sitting in my backyard, but I sold my square body pickup, so I don't have any way of getting rid of this other than cutting it up and making it disappear in the uh, weekly garbage collection week by week. I did resort to my favorite, which is uh, the heat gun. Uh, a thanks to Jeff Thiessen of uh, Trendsetter Automotive, who showed me a way of pulling dents out when you can't get to the other side. And other than burning the paint with this gun, uh, I did get it a little bit better. At least I was a little happier with it. Uh, check the video above on pulling the crushed roof out of my square body pickup when a crane fell on it. Uh, disappointing day that one was. So the kit came with a wee soft faced hammer which I do find I enjoy for persuading dents out in a progressive and gentle kind of way and then here you can see lines by my vertical fluorescent tubes to help you see where the high and low spots are you can really see how wrinkled this panel is and I've watched some videos of guys just gently persuading this to perfection with these little uh, dent drifting kind of things and it's magic and it didn't really move at all for me but um, my enthusiasm for bodywork is pretty low, to be honest. So it was kind of fun. I'm quite happy taking things to an acceptable level of filler or a thick coat of paint. Um, but paintless, eh, this was an experience. I tried to learn it. My instructions to my students are, this is a black art. It's voodoo, magic. 
If you can make it work and you've got a dent whispering skill, give it a go. Here's the theory of how it all goes together. So I watch a lot of YouTube videos on this and I'd like to say that, hey man, here's the easy way to do this. But if you're new to this channel, I freaking hate bodywork. I can't stand it. So the kit comes with a bunch of stuff that will probably get you started with paint paintless dent repair. In my opinion, there's a few more things you're gonna need. This is a good start, but I think you're gonna need the tools that are big long bars that can get in behind things and push stuff and coax stuff out. This doesn't come with those, but this will get you going. Um, of course, if you're in a metal fabrication at all, you can make your own tools for a lot of things, and I have, um, but this intrigued me. I got the kit to see if I can figure it out. I don't wanna figure it out, I'm honest, sorry. I played with it a bit. Okay, so it comes with a bunch of these little sticky on things that you uh, hot glue onto the body to help pull things out. It gives you two kinds of glue. There's like your normal glue that I've seen at a dollar store before, and then the black stuff. The black stuff seems to be gooier. Um, I'm not sure which one to use. The kit doesn't come with any instructions. I tried a tube or a full length of this, and then went to a full length of this. I think I like the black stuff better. Hard to get off the paint, there's probably a trick to that. The pads, the glue-on pads that you have, I got black and pink. I don't see a difference in their flexibility or anything, so I'm not sure what the difference would be. I guess it depends how you're feeling that day. Leave a comment down below if you can help me out on that one. We've got these, which excite me, and the little pink and black guys, and these with a bar on it. This is kind of cool, because you can have this fit whatever bizarre thing you've done to the body. This thing slides over, you put the slide hammer on here and as you start banging it, it pulls the lowest parts up. So that in theory, it's all a nice straight line when you're done. The black and the pink and these all work with slide hammers. I love slide hammers, I really do. It's, uh, it's got a good weight, it's got a spring on here so you don't drop it and put the dent back in. And these little hooks on the bottom just slip in like this and then you bang away until the dent comes up to where you want it to be. I like hammers. I like slide hammers. Comes with a hot glue gun, which is just your typical hot glue gun. Mindful when you put it down that you don't accidentally turn it off. I would probably put the switch on the back if it were me, but uh, if you're paying attention you'll be okay. And I have uh, Black glue is still in there. I neglected to take that out. With these wonderful little pads, I used this. I quite liked this guy. And this, you can put, you hook it onto that little pad. And on the body, you can just squeeze and pull that guy up to help pull the dent. And I think it's smart to tap around the dent with this to try to bring the high, speed, high parts down while you're pulling the low parts up. That's just me. Uh, I am not a professional, and I'm not in love with bodywork. Also comes with this little, this little. It's like a, it's kind of like a nail set sort of thing, but you got interchangeable tips for whatever you want to hit. And this will be for the fine detail stuff. And there's like all kinds of flat ends, blunt ends, whatever tip you want it to be. And you can put that on a high spot and tap that down with a hammer uh, to help smooth out the last little bit of perfection with the patience that I don't have. Um, I also have, for getting into things, one of these guys, which is kind of handy. Um, you can stick this between the door and the window and just pump up the jam, pump it up, pump it, pump it, get on the dance floor, dance like you never danced before. And it opens things so you can get in there, which is nice but this kit doesn't come with anything to get in there, which is why you're gonna want that. This one I think would be good as well. It's the same kind of thing, a whole bunch of little glue-on screwy tabs, and then you can glue that on, give it some tension. This sets against the body and stays there so you get some tension. Then you got two hands free to try and tap the high spots while this pulls up the low spots. I don't know how you get the glue out of the tabs other than melt it. Um, I may argue with that more. I may leave it. I did try heating this up with a heat gun and re-stickifying it to the paint. 
which stuck. There are also a bunch of these suction cups, which I've never found particularly helpful in pulling dents. But if you had a pretty big, like you leaned against the door panel kind of thing, you could stick that on there and pull it out, maybe tap it around the outside to pull it out the rest of the way. Uh, there's the big ones, and I have some of these previously for pulling dents, actually. And then we've got some littler ones, which work pretty good at pulling some dents as well. So if, if it's a gentle dent, if that makes sense, like you leaned against it too much, these can usually pull that out nicely. If it's a little more aggressive, you're going to have to get a bit more aggressive. I'm guessing that this is supposed to peel off the glue tabs. Uh, I instead used a heat gun to soften the glue and just scraped it off with this and then wiped off the residual with lacquer thinner. I did find these pop off nicely if you put the, the slide hammer at an angle and try to shear it off the uh, panel. That worked okay. This is supposed to give you a nice striped reflection to help you find the high spots and low spots and see what the dent's actually doing on the panel. I've struggled with this. Uh, I may just print out striped paper to put over top of lights. I used a fluorescent, uh, a vertical fluorescent tube set that gives me the stripes of the fluorescent tubes which helped to a certain extent. Uh, but by golly, I do not have the discipline and patience for this. Let me tell you, I'm really, I confess I'm really not motivated to get that tailgate down to perfection. I, I just, I hate dents and pulling dents and bodywork. I hate it. I hate it so much. So, this kit, uh, so no complaints about the kit. Complaints about myself, absolutely. Uh, I would recommend getting the little levers and rods and things to get inside panels to help coax it out. I would recommend a phenomenal amount of patience, whether by natural causes or chemically induced. So since other people will be reading the comments, make sure that you add some comments that will help them out in their adventurous plight of paintless dent repair. And uh, hey, maybe, maybe karma will shine nice on your next dent challenge. As for me, I'm putting all this stuff back in the bag. I'm putting it in the tool room in the auto shop at school and let the kids play with this because uh, it's not for me. Might be for them. We're going to find out. As always, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll see you again.